Okay, we're going to do something here with plantar fasciitis, a very common problem we see in our society. More and more of our runners are getting plantar fasciitis, and of course all of us have techniques that are effective for plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is not a problem with the bottom of the foot. It's a problem with the fascial bags that are glued together in the, uh, in the lower leg here primarily. Uh, it can be an arch problem, different kinds of structural def uh, dysfunctions of the foot can cause plantar fasciitis, but we're going to look at it from a compartmental uh, point of view. First thing though I want to do is, as you know, there are two pieces of the plantar fascia uh, and they usually like to tear away from the calcaneal lip. That little lip there, the plantar fascia, uh, starts to want to drag the periosteum of the bone away, and that's what's painful. The, there's, the bone spur itself is not painful, it's not sensitive. It's just the periosteum of the skin that's pulled away that makes it sensitive. So it's pulled away there and it's inflamed there, usually, sometimes there, but we're going to do this. When they have pain right around this area, always move the tissue back toward the middle. We're just going to do a little bit of plantar fascia work include this with the stuff you already do. I'm going to come in with a forearm, flat forearm, and I'm just going to push it toward the injury site. Moving it toward the painful site, not jumping up onto that painful area yet. So we're going to come up on there, pushing that tissue, making sure the plantar aponeurosis, those little muscles that are underlying the plantar fascia, are activated. Try to get some arch stuff. We've worked on the arches before. Right now we're just doing the plantar fascia part. Okay, once we warm that up and we can come in on that cal calcaneal lip, we're going to push it right up against the area of dysfunction. Notice how I'm pushing that right up in there, making sure that it's, I'm working at her tolerance level. So I'm coming in like that, and then I'm just going to rock and roll with the foot like this to do sort of a frictioning against that tendon. So we're just kind of frictioning the uh, little bit of uh, plantar fascia that's pushing away from the calcaneal lip and then I'm going to go on. I'm going to come down here and this is a technique that I love that I think I've invented but you never think you really invent anything because about the time you think you say you've invented it somebody says that they learned it from their PE teacher in the fifth grade or something. So I'm going to grab uh, Michelle's ball of the foot and I'm going to come in here like this so that I can grab the uh, fascial bags and I'm going to sling her heel away as I hold on to the fascial bag. So watch what it looks like using my body weight. I'm going to sling this away. So you want to make sure that you're getting all contact with all of the the fascia, retinaculum. The retinaculum love to glue down to the underlying tendons and limit movement. Particularly you want to make sure that this lateral compartment here, tibialis anterior and peroneus longus is, uh, is loose and of course underlying the gastroxoleus tibialis posterior. So really give it some movement through there and then add this to the techniques that you already do for your plantar fascia uh, clients and you will get uh, great success. Be sure and include this. Thanks a lot.